for fit closet. How to use inserts, glass mirror inserts connect to fixed shelf, and glass mirror insert standalone. Underneath the local browser, using our PFC Canada catalog or US catalog, depending on your location. Underneath categories, in the closet section, underneath part. If we scroll down, we will find our insert, glass mirror insert connect to fixed shelf and glass mirror insert standalone. I already have some models in here and I will proceed to um, add a glass mirror insert connect to fixed shelf. So as you can see here, I have two fixed shelves that, that are in blue. The yellow ones are adjustable shelves. So this is a good um, place that I can add my mirror insert connect to fixed shelf. If I show you the perspective, I have it open already. You can see I have this space in here. And I want to add in that open space in the back of that wall, I want to add a mirror. So I will go back to my elevation. And I will select glass mirror insert connect to fixed shelf. Drag it. I see my magnet. Let go of my mouse. And is trying to attach to the next uh, or the closest available um, fixed shelf where it can connect between two. These ones are behind the doors. Like if you move around, you're able to place that mirror insert anywhere. But uh, because I this is where I want it, I just left click to let go of my mouse. And I can see there these triangles that show the mirror in there. If I right click and go to attributes, I'm able, if I click on the blank space, I'm able to see a blurry image of that insert. Like it's a quarter inch, the thickness, like looks like a, like a panel, like a solid panel, but it will be in actual glass mirror and here we can see the manufacturer code the description the size that it's already determined by the width of my model and the height of that opening 36 by 23 and 3 16. So if i take a look here that's exactly what my opening is and if i go to variable I'm able to see the same thing like description, the manufacturer code, dimensions, and the price quantity, and um, the user code. If I click on apply and OK, I'm able to go out. If I go to features and options, I right click, go to features and options. I can see that I have my inserts mirror, and this is the only like oh, the only option that I can the the finish right. Like it's the glass mirror that we have in our catalog and the glass. And if I want to let's say order. Um, single piece of mirror of a specific size for an existing um, model or opening that I have at home or to use it or something else. You can certainly order that doing the glass mirror insert standalone. I will click, drag and drop in this empty space in here. Now left click to let go of my mouse and I can move my mouse to the left or right to resize it accordingly. Um, I see that my max width is 48 inches. So let's say I just want a piece of mirror 
that is 20 inches wide. So I will just type in my placement zone in here. I'll type 20 inches. So I can do it that way too. Click on, okay. And if I want to resize the height, I can also do it this way. If I want to have a, like a vertical, more longer, Mirror, I will say that I want that at um, let's say 30 inches height. That's my mirror there. So if I move this up and down just to show you what was the maximum height, I right click, resize the height, and I go, it goes all the way to 96. And if I resize the width up to 48, but um, just because it's too wide, it will probably come uh, broken in the while shaping. Uh, we don't recommend to use that big of a, or to order a big, uh, that big of a mirror uh, by itself. So I will say that I can also change that in my attributes, go to variables, and say that I just want a 30 inches high by 20 inches wide. Click on apply and OK. So I have my mirror standalone in there. Um, let's go back to attributes just to check on the variables that I have. It shows the price in there the quantity and the manufacturer code and the description. Click on apply and OK. I'll go back to my perspective. I'll open a new one in here. And in the graphics, it doesn't show exactly like a mirror, like it's not reflecting, but it is a piece of glass mirror of the size of you want if you use the standalone and connect it to a fixed shelf. Sorry, and connect it to a fixed shelf if you use this glass mirror insert connect to fixed shelf. If you have any questions about glass mirror insert please contact us at support at perfectfeedcanada.com. Thank you.